Rasulullah first attests to it how? By saying number one, I am the city of knowledge and Ali is its gate. Correct or no? Ana Madinatul Ilm wa Aliyun Babuha. Then Rasulullah says, I am the city of Hikmah and Ali is its gate. First Rasulullah said, I am the city of knowledge and Ali is the gate. Then he says, not just knowledge. There are many who have knowledge but no wisdom. Correct or no? I am the city of knowledge and Ali is its gate. I am the city of Hikmah and Ali ibn Abi Talib is the door to that Hikmah. No doubt. Rasulullah himself attested that if you want to come to me, you have to go through Ali ibn Abi Talib. That's number one. Then Ali ibn Abi Talib himself attests to this. How? Because just in case someone's saying, well, there's others saying this about Imam Ali. Does Imam Ali himself say this? Allahu Akbar, how Imam Ali himself makes it clear, yes? There is one line that remains a line which only Ali ibn Abi Talib has said, will say, and none has the audacity to ever say after him or before him. Ask me before you lose me. Wow. I know I am more aware of the paths of the heaven than the paths of the earth. Wow. Tell me, which comrade of Ali is able to say that? Because those who want to say he is number four, I ask them a question. Preceding number four, was there ever anyone who said, ask me before you lose me? I am more aware of the paths of the heavens than the paths of the earth. Which means what? Which means the earth is for mortals. Those above mortals know the heavens as well. Yes? That's why another line says, Lo kushifa li al yaqeenan wa la imana. If the veils between me and Allah were removed, it wouldn't increase my iman and certainty in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wow, wow, wow. That is Ali ibn Abi Talib, not a historical personage. No. Before you go into Ali ibn Abi Talib, there is a man who's saying to you that remove all the veils between me and Allah, it does not affect my iman there at all. Hadith called the Hadith al haqiqah the Hadith of the reality. This Hadith is, is vicious. This Hadith is Ali ibn Abi Talib in a different world. Don't bring me the names of Zayd and Bakr. Bring me Ali. Kumail says, I'm riding my horse. Imam Ali's on the horse behind me. He said, I just turned around to him and I said, what's the truth? What's the truth? Imam Ali said, what do you have to do with the truth? In one narration, Kumail replies by saying, aren't you the door to God's secret? In another narration, Imam says to him, or he says to the Imam, aren't I your companion of the secrets? Imam says to him, oh Kumail, what sprinkles in you overflows in me. Oh, oh no, 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 no. What sprinkles in you overflows in me. Kumail looked at him and said, tell me more. What's the truth? I want to know the truth. Kumay didn't say, I want to know, tell me what the truth is. Imam looked at him and said, the disclosure of the majesties of glorification without indication. I don't know how to explain it to you because I don't know what that means. If I knew what that means, then I should be an Imam. But that only belongs to Ali. The disclosure of the majesties of glorification without indication. Kumay said, please tell me more. He said, the negation of speculation through the realization of the reality. History puts him as number four. He says, please explain to me more. He looks at him and he says to him, the negation of the realities through the rendering of the veil of the secrecies. He says, please tell me more. He said, appreciating the divine oneness 
through apprehension of the attributes of the divine unicity. He says, please tell me more. He said, a light that illuminated from the pre-eternal dawn, now on the talismanic tables of divine unicity. Kumay said, tell me more. He said, no. He said, remove the light. It's now time for Fajr. Five lines, which were meant to have taken place from Maghrib to Fajr. He starts at Maghrib. Somehow, it's Fajr. What has occurred in those hours in five lines, I don't know. Kumail says, I never asked him after that. All I said to him is, what's the truth out there? He gave me five answers I could never understand. That's why we have a hadith. Do you know what it says? If Abu Dhar knew what Salman believed about Ali ibn Abi Talib, Abu Dhar would have called him kafir. If you ask me personally, how did you know Allah existed? I always make it clear. On the 19th of Ramadan, I knew God existed. Someone says, how? Because today, many of our youth are saying, prove to me Allah scientifically. Prove to me Allah philosophically. I say, I can't be bothered wasting my breath. Can't be bothered. I found Allah on the 19th of Ramadan. I said, how? I said, I saw a man killed in his sujood. And the first thing he did after being struck was give water to his killer. Whoever that man worships, I want to worship. Because if worshipping a God makes an Ali ibn Abi Talib Ali, I want the God of Ali ibn Abi Talib.